Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing the last batch of holiday scents from Bath & Body Works. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started! Bath & Body Works has released what I believe is their final holiday collection for 2022, just in time for the body care event that's coming up this weekend. They may release some additional scents on Body Care Day, but they'll probably be re-promoted scents that we've seen before, but I didn't see any of those available yet. Of the new fragrance mist that I picked up, there are three scents that seem to be part of one collection as they have similar designs on the bottles, and I'm not sure if that collection has a name, but I'm calling it the Celestial Collection due to the theme on the packaging. Then there are two kind of standalone scents which have different packaging from the others. What I'm calling the Celestial Collection includes Sapphire Moon, which has notes of pear and musk, Golden Eclipse, which is a woody berry scent, and Prismatic Stars, with notes of raspberry and plum. Then the first standalone scent is Life of the Party, which is a bubbly, citrusy vanilla. And lastly, Winter Cherry Blossom, which has notes of amber and berries. And now let's get on to the review. Starting with Sapphire Moon, it comes in the blue celestial packaging with stars and constellations. And this has notes of sparkling pear, sheer freesia, and moonlit musk. And I don't always like pear scents, so I was a little unsure if I would like this one, but I actually think that this is nice. It opens with a sparkling, bubbly quality, as well as a light pear. And the pear seems to have some sweetness to it as well. And underneath that is the freesia, and it's soft and pretty and not overwhelming at all. And I feel hints of something warm in the base that's not listed, maybe like amber or a woody note, but the scent also does have a lightness from the musk. It's very breezy, and I swear I smell a hint of coconut as well, but I could be imagining it. And overall, this is a light, fresh, musky floral with a hint of pear. And while there's a bit of a sweet feeling to it, it's not a super sweet or gourmand scent. And I feel like the pear is actually really light. And I feel like this mist is pretty soft overall and definitely lighter than some of the others in this group and from Bath & Body Works in general. So I would definitely want to layer this with the matching lotion or body cream. And next up is Golden Eclipse, which comes in a yellowy gold bottle with moons and constellations on it. And this has notes of glowing berries, shimmering blossoms, and sun-warmed woods. And this one opens stronger than the last one with a lot of berries, and the berries have a bit of a juicy and candy-like sweetness to them. And then the floral note starts to come in, and it's very soft and feels a bit powdery, but it's pretty nondescript. I can't pick out any specific flower. And as the woods come in, the scent starts to feel sort of bright and creamy, and the berries fade quite a bit. While I can still pick them up, the woods definitely seem to be taking center stage. I don't know what they mean exactly by sun-warmed woods, but this smells actually sort of citrusy, even though there's no citrus note listed. And at times it feels a bit soapy to me as well. I also feel like this one has an ambery quality to it, and overall, I do like this one, but I don't think it's my favorite in the group, but it is a nice, fruity, woody scent. I just wish that the candied feeling from the opening stuck around for the life of the scent. And last in the Celestial Collection is Prismatic Stars, which comes in a purple bottle with stars and what looks like little galaxies on it. And this has notes of Raspberry Stardust, Mystic Plum, and Cosmic Cashmere. And this one opens with a heavy raspberry note, and it feels sweet and a bit sugary at first. And then the plum comes in, and it's really dark and syrupy. And I feel like the mix of the fruits is really nice. And the cashmere base brings in a very warm and cozy feeling that's a little bit woody, but yet still light. And there's also still a nice bit of sweetness in the scent at this point, and it's definitely sweeter than the previous scents in this collection. And the fruit does soften some as it dries, but it is still very present in the dry down, which is overall sweet and fruity and warm. 
And I really do like this one, and I can't wait to get the matching lotion to pair with it. And it does feel average as far as strength for a body mist. Overall, the celestial scents are all fruity florals with a bit of warmth, so it feels like a cohesive collection, and I do like all of them. I feel like Sapphire Moon is more of a light bedtime type of scent, where Golden Eclipse is a daytime kind of wear anywhere scent, and Prismatic Stars is more suited for evening. So they're all nice, but I can't say that any of them stand out as anything remarkable. And moving on to the standalone scents, first up is Life of the Party, which has a very sparkly and kind of holographic bottle. And this has notes of pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmering vanilla. And this one also has a fizzy, boozy opening from that prosecco, but it's mixed with some bright and slightly sharp citrus. The jasmine comes in very quickly, and it's pretty strong, and at that point, there's not a whole lot of sweetness, it's mainly floral. And the vanilla does come in as it dries, and it brings some sweetness to the scent, which also retains some of the citrus in the dry down. And the vanilla isn't sugary or super sweet, it's more warm and kind of fresh feeling. And the scent overall is subtly sweet, but mostly floral, with a fruity accent and it's more perfumey than the celestial scents. I have to say, I feel like this actually kind of reminds me a bit of In the Stars. They're not dupes, but they have kind of that same warm quality to them. And the bubbly scent and sparkly packaging makes it seem like this is a New Year scent, and it definitely has my favorite packaging in the group. And I do really like the scent overall, and it seems like average strength for a body mist. And the other standalone scent is Winter Cherry Blossom, which comes in red and white floral packaging with some sparkles on it. And this has notes of Frosted Cherry Blossom, Ruby Berries, and Silky Amber. And first off, be aware that the liquid for this scent is red, so it may stain if sprayed on clothing. And this opens with the cherry blossom and berries, and the berries feel like they might have some actual cherry in them as well. There's a sweetness to it, as well as an ambery warmth that mixes really nicely with the berries and the floral note. And I find that the berries are more toned down in the dry down, but they are still noticeable. And overall, this is a soft floral scent with some berries and amber, and it is a bit reminiscent of Japanese cherry blossom. And if you're wondering how this compares to Japanese cherry blossom, they are definitely not the same. Japanese Cherry Blossom has notes of Japanese Cherry Blossom, Asian Pear, Fresh Mimosa Petals, White Jasmine, and Blushing Sandalwood, so the notes are very different. And Japanese Cherry Blossom is just such a classic Bath & Body Works scent. I don't reach for it much, but when I do, I find that I always like it. And it's much more of a powdery, woody floral, whereas Winter Cherry Blossom is a warm, fruity floral. I feel like the cherry blossom and other floral notes are more prominent in Japanese cherry blossom, while the berries and amber are more prominent in winter cherry blossom. So I do think you can have both, even though they both have cherry blossom, because they are quite different. Overall, I think there are some nice scents in this group, and I don't dislike any of them, but I wouldn't say that there's anything you need to run out and grab unless you just want to try some new scents. If I had to rank these, my least favorite would be Winter Cherry Blossom, and it's not because I don't like it, I just prefer the powderiness of the original Japanese Cherry Blossom, but I do like the cherryish berry note in this one. In the middle would be Golden Eclipse, with its creamy, citrusy berry woods, and Sapphire Moon, with its light, fresh, musky floral, and I do like that the pear is very subtle in that one. And the top two scents are pretty close, but I'd say that next would be Life of the Party, which is a fun, bubbly floral with hints of sweet vanilla. And I think that Prismatic Stars comes out on top because it's really pretty with its raspberry plum mix and sweet cashmere base. So that's it for my review of what is hopefully the last batch of holiday scents from Bath & Body Works. There are some nice scents in this group, but as far as this year's holiday scents go, they don't top Strawberry Snowflakes, Wrapped in Vanilla, and Blush Cardigan for me. Also, a reminder that the Bath & Body Works body care sale is taking place later this week on December 9th and 10th, and there is a pre-sale for rewards members on Thursday, December 8th. I'm excited to pick up some backups and some matching lotions for the various holiday scents that have come out. Let me know what you think of the scents in this video, as well as what you plan to pick up for Body Care Day. 
Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.